So we're here with Dave from Ember and Concrete. Dave, tell us a little bit about the process you guys use when you go to construct your concrete foundation. Well, it all first uh, starts with meeting with the client and ensuring that the plan is looked at and make sure it's got the right measurements and everything because sometimes there are some mistakes and we need to correct those before we even get started. And then usually we find out where you're building so we can decide from our experience what your soil conditions are there and we'll recommend you a size footing. You still need to get a soil bearing capacity uh, test to confirm those sizes and after that well it's just uh, whatever you need we'll do it for you. And so what got you into the concrete business? This is a summer job. It started as a summer job and the summer has been real long. It's been 25 years. Wow. So yeah it's uh, <laughs> So what's your favorite part about uh, doing the concrete work on a home? Um, I don't know so much about favorite, but I'm more on the floor section of it. It's more like the finished product. It's, it's delicate, you know, but the floor guys are younger and they're greener. So mm -hmm. I got to stay with them. And that's where I was yeah. this morning. So Dave, what would you say makes Embram Concrete stand out from your competition? Well, to me, I think it's, uh, you know, dealing with people. I would just wouldn't want to, in a week from now to have done a terrible job and not be able to speak to you, you know, or meet you somewhere and not be able to look you in the eye and say, so I need quality and, you know, I push the guys and they push themselves and, and they do an excellent job. And, you know, we have a motto, it's if it's not straight, square and level, then you don't pay. Because it's very important for that foundation to be solid it's the heart of your building, you know, and it's backfilled and it's framed inside and nobody sees it. But again, it's like your heart. You don't see it, but if it's not there and it's not properly done, it's not going to be holding your, foundation, your house up and it's, it's important that it starts right off the bat. It has to start well. Wow, that's, that's great. And that's why we use good guys like Dave here at Ember and Concrete because it translates all the way through your home. As you can see, the joint is seamless. All you see is a perfect pour with a perfect edge. This wall right here is a perfectly poured foundation. As you can see, there's no honeycombing moving through here. What you're seeing is, is a really well poured foundation. You're always gonna have a little bit that, that does show up, but eventually, you know, if you can, for the most part, get a pour that looks like this, you've got a great foundation that's gonna last for a long time. This is, this is rare when it comes to putting the delta wrap or the, or the platon on, on your foundation. You see what our, our, build, our foundation guys do, they put a, an extruded strip that goes across the top here that seals the top of the foundation. A lot of builders, what they'll do is they'll put uh, aluminum clips and then put a bead of, of caulking. Our guys put a bead of tar caulking plus the strip, a termination strip to seal everything off. So you're not gonna have moisture in the future. Come and get behind your delta membrane. You need to be sure your window well is drained properly so you're not gonna have water problems in the future. This drain goes down into the big O that goes around the house, into the sump pit, and gets pumped out to the ditch. I'm Mark Cranenberg from Greenmark Builders TV. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and we'll see you next time on Greenmark Builders TV.